Yes, welcome back now for a Thursday afternoon. We're supposed to be uh, talking to David a little after three, but we're a little early today, and uh, so it's great to have him in the studio again with us. Uh, David, a couple of texts from people uh, already sending in. David is a legend. Great interview from Grace. Um, uh, was David a happy chappy when Owen scored the winner in the Derby last Sunday? Yeah, well, what do you think? Actually, that was <laughs> remarkable because I was in Boston and I watched the first half in a pub at sort mm. of 7.30 in the morning, and then we had to leave for the airport to go to New York. It's a tough life, I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we were, we were listening to it on the phone. like We had Radio 5 coming down the phone. phone line. And then we, as we were going through security, it was the last five minutes and City had just scored. And I left it on, on top of my coat, as it went through the old uh, thing. And they yeah. were checking my bag backwards and forwards. And then we could hear the game coming in and out. So <laughs> <laughs> just as we got hold of it, we, Owen knocked it in and we all went berserk. Yeah. So, yeah, I, lo I, lo I love the little captions that are going around at the moment from people. You know, you know when the fourth official holds up the time, they're like the extra minutes, four minutes to go. <laughs> they've taken out all the numbers and they've just put in the words, until we score. <laughs> <laughs> You heard that one, no? Yeah, no, I <laughs> That's great. Good, yeah. um, love the new stuff. Grony and Mayo says hello. Um, and then we got a, a text from a guy called Bob in Limerick who says, every house, every house in Ireland has a picture of the Pope and John F. Kennedy on the wall and a copy of David Gray's White Ladder in the CD place. <laughs> <laughs> true, yeah. They, they must have... Uh, I think there probably is in nearly every house in the country, oh, yeah, that one. I think so. You're going to play live for us now, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to do the future. <laughs> Lovely. David Gray in the studio with us with the fugitive. Yeah!
<laughs> Plenty more where that came from. Well, you're knocking it out there, you really are. You don't hold back with this record, Why not? There's, there's no point, is there? Life's yeah. too short for yeah, that. It really is. Uh, you're releasing your album at a time, I suppose it has to be said, when the record industry is by all means in uh, dire straits. How, how, will you, how will you define the success of this record? Uh, f through the gigs, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it's a numbers game. People like to look at the numbers. You sold this many last time you sold that many. But I, I, I guess I'll, I'll sense You're it. You're not worried the, about that, are you? In the ticket thing. Well, yeah, you, of course you want it to be a success in that way. Uh, because you, well, because it makes life easier, you know? Because uh, so many gullible people are taken in by this nonsense. It's like, mm -hmm. and it's harder to work the angles when people are thinking you're just sort of diminished in your stature. It's sort of everything becomes more of a grind, I think. Mm -hmm. So if you rack up a few sales, suddenly the door sort of creaks a little bit wider. It's that much easier to get through. That's what I find. So, uh, but yeah, that's not how I will be. Uh, I'll be watching in other ways. So I, I've already seen stuff at the gigs. Well, it's just that the, the, the it's already a victory. The pleasure is in the playing of the music yes. and, and being in the moment. And that's what I hope to remain in for the course of the duration of this record, presenting this record. And there'll be some more music coming, I'm sure, after this record sort of cooled. We've, we've got a load of stuff in the can, which I hope will be released then. So. Uh, this is going to be a long haul, so I'm just going to enjoy it. Well, you're looking good in it, my friend. I think uh, you're looking, you're, he's getting, he's, I was watching you on the Late Late Show a couple of weeks ago. You're looking really good these days. Oh, are you working God. out or what are you doing? Uh, well, I, I was until about <laughs> the promo kicked in about four months ago. I, I played football like three times a week. Yeah, well, I, well, I, I play twice training. a week and I, don't, I can't make the third one, but I definitely play twice. So uh, that's all I've been doing. I don't really like gyms and all that, you know. Mm. It's like... And I, I, I never do a press up unless unless someone told me to. Yeah. You know, I need someone to go. Come on, give me ten. <laughs> there you go. Uh, congratulations on the success of the record so far, and the and the huge play that it's getting on radio, the single "The Future." So well done on that. Thank you. Uh, you're playing in uh, is it Wheelands tonight? Yeah. Well, I think uh, we're doing the Arthur's Day sort of show, which is yeah. a short blast of uh, four or five songs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's early this evening. There's lots of other bands on all over the city or, and at Wheelands, so that sounds like chaos. Okay, and you're coming back to play it before the end of the year? Yeah, we've got a, a point show which will be going on sale if it isn't already, already which is uh, in December. And um, tonight there's a secret show. Oh, there's a secret show? Uh, yeah, at Wheelands, so uh, I don't know how the ticket thing works with that, right. but it's worth a try, I suppose, if you really want to be there. That's going to be special, I think. Great. Well, uh, I'm going to drop along and say hello. David, thank you very much for coming to the Thank you, Tony. And uh, continue success with the record. Cheers.